Welcome to the Jade and Stitches Show. This month we have two additions to our 2019 folk art calendar blanket for the month of October. We're going to make a little pumpkin patch and a garden full of sunflowers. In this video we're going to show you how to make the little pumpkins for our pumpkin patch. In the other video we're going to show you how to make the little farm field of sunflowers and we'll put a link to that tutorial in the description box down below. We're using the same size weight yarn and the same size hook for our little pumpkins the same ones we've been using all the way through this blanket project. I've used a couple different colors of pumpkin for my pumpkins, <laughs> but of course you can make your pumpkins any shade of orange or white or gourd color that you like. They don't take up very much yarn, we're only going to make five, and this cute little patch sits right above our barn. So let's grab our hooks, grab our yarn, we'll grab our blankets, we'll head on over to the craft table, and we will stitch up a whole pumpkin patch together. In order to make these super cute little pumpkin appliques for our blanket, you don't need very much yarn for each applique. For all five together, you need approximately 40 grams or 90 yards of orange and less than 10 yards of brown for the stem, so a very small amount of brown. I'm using a size four medium weight acrylic yarn. It's the same yarn I've been using for the rest of my blanket. You need a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, and the hook we've been using thus far is a 5.5 millimeter, also known as an eye, or a nine in the US, a size five in the UK. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, take a moment to click that button and the bell so you never miss another episode. And once you've got all that together, we can get started. Please visit our shop and purchase a pattern. It helps support our show. And we'll put a link to our shop in the description box down below. We're going to begin with our orange yarn and we're going to make a cinch circle. Once you've, you've chained one to secure your circle, you're going to single crochet into that circle. We're going to take care to work all of our stitches over top of our short tail. So we've got a single crochet. Now we're going to work four double crochet into the cinch circle. So four double crochet over top of that short tail. Once you have four double crochet, we're going to single crochet now into the circle. So, so far we have a single crochet, four double crochet, and a single crochet. Still working over that short tail. You're going to work four more double crochet now into the circle. A quick recap. Row one, we created a cinch circle. We have single crochet, four double crochet, single crochet, four double crochet, all worked into the circle. Might look a little funny, that's okay. Grab that short tail, cinch it up nice and tight. And now you're going to join with a slip stitch to the top of that single crochet that you made at the very beginning. So single crochet, or I should say slip stitch to the top of the single crochet. So now you should have something that looks a little bit like an oval here. I'm going to work over top of my short tail, but you can leave it to the back and weave it in later if you like. We're going to work directly into the top of that first double crochet stitch, and we're going to work two half double crochet stitches into it. So two half double crochet stitches into the top of that first double crochet. And you're going to work two half double crochet stitches into each of the next three stitches. So two half double crochet stitches into the top of each of those four double crochets from row one. You 
you should have two half double crochet stitches worked into each of those four double crochet stitches from the row before. That brings us up to the single crochet at the bottom of our pumpkin. You're just going to slip stitch right into that stitch. And now we've got one, two, three, four double crochets left from the previous row. You're going to work two half double crochet stitches into each of those stitches all the way back up the other side of your little pumpkin. All right, quick recap of row two. We slip stitched to join row one with a slip stitch in the top of the single crochet that began the row. We worked immediately into the next stitch, which was a double crochet from the row before. We worked two half double crochets into each of those four double crochets, slip stitched into the single crochet at the bottom of the pumpkin, and worked two half double crochets into the next four stitches. That brings us back to the top of our pumpkin. That's the little slip stitch that we joined row one with, or yes, joined row one with. We're going to slip stitch into that stitch to finish off row two. Then you're gonna pull up on your loop a little bit, take your hook, insert it from behind, somewhere just below that slip stitch, grab the loop, and just pull it to the back of your pumpkin. You're going to snip yourself a long tail for sewing, somewhere around 8 to 10 inches, or 20 to 25 centimeters. Fasten off, pull nice and tightly, and then you can sort of peel out the edges of your pumpkin. You should have two chubby little edges that sort of round out the, either side and a dip at the bottom and the top. Now we're going to add our little stem and we're going to really accentuate that top dip. We're going to take our brown yarn and make a slip knot. Then you're going to keep your tail out of the way and you're going to insert your hook somewhere underneath that slip stitch. So right through sort of the top center of your pumpkin doesn't have to be right in the very middle. We're going to slip stitch to join our yarn. And now we're just going to make a cute little simple stem. We're going to chain three. So there's three chains. You're going to skip the first chain from the hook, slip stitch into the second and third chains, and then slip stitch right into the same place that you joined your yarn. Pull up on that loop. Take your hook and bring it right through the same place where you joined your yarn and you just slip stitched. So let's make sure we got the right spot here. There we go. Take that loop, carefully pull it to the back, And we really don't need much tail, so you can sort of put your hook back in there, tighten up that loop, snip your yarn, fasten off, pull that nice and tight, take your stem and pull it upright. You might feel it sort of spinning a little bit in that stitch that we did all of that work into. Take those two ends, get that little orange tail out of the way, knot your two tails together, and then you can trim any excess if they're too long. When we sew our pumpkins down to our blanket, we're just going to tuck those little tails in underneath them. And there's your little pumpkin made. Our little pumpkin patch is going to sit directly above our barn. So between our barn and our sun, there's our sunshine at the top, here's our barn, and here's our little pumpkins in the middle. We're going to set them out so that we've got them spaced one, two, three, four, and five. Here is the left edge of our blanket. This is the top of our barn. Here's the edge of our forest, our sky, our sun, and our little pumpkin patch is going to sit in this little green space right above our barn. I have the five of them separated so that they are in a nice sort of pleasing little uh, 
almost like a, a pyramid or a half a pyramid position. And you don't have to worry about what order you sew them down in because they're not overlapping or touching each other. I did sew mine from left to right, so down, up, down, up. And the last one I'm going to sew on is down here. As with all the other little appliques we've sewn down to our blanket, we're going to sew it down using the long tail left behind and using the top facing loops of the blankets that sit right beneath the corresponding stitch along the edge of our applique that we want to sew into. So remember, you can pin them down or you can do what I do and just sort of slowly reposition them as you work around the edge of your blanket. Once you've sewn all the way around your pumpkin, make a small knot at the edge of your applique and then bring your needle through to the center and you can weave your tail through some of the stitches that run around row one of your little pumpkin. So I like to go in one direction, just wiggle my needle underneath those stitches and go around maybe one, one and a half times. That way I know the yarn is in there and it's not going to want to come undone. And then you can trim any excess. And there's your little pumpkin patch all done. And there's our sweet little pumpkin patch. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed making this little bit of pumpkin-y autumn friendliness <laughs> along with us this week, and we will see you soon here on the Jaden Stitches Show. Until then, stay safe, stay crafty, and have an awesome week. Bye, everybody. Hi, everyone. This is Mama and Stitches. Thank you for watching. Here are a few other videos you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe, and you can also click the like button and the bell. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.